Hi, I'm Danny Breen, Mayor of the City of St. John's. Thank you for doing this interview, Mayor. It's a pleasure to speak with you. Uh, in a very general sort of high level sense, what do you think makes St. John's an attractive destination for foreign investors? What would you say are the three or four top competitive advantages of the city? St. John's has, has a lot of advantages in, in terms of attracting investment. It's certainly one of the 20, uh, led one of the 20 cities um, categories in North America for the competitiveness of the taxation and and uh, and, and other business operating costs to uh, for, for research and development. Uh, it has a tremendous lifestyle um, for uh, for attracting um, uh, talent here, and it also has a, a, a very large uh, breadth and uh, robust experience in the ocean industry sector in particular. We've been built on ocean industries uh, all, all our lives, and uh, we've uh, grown up around the water. We're used to the water. It presents many challenges to us, but at the same time, it presents many opportunities. Uh, so research and developers had the opportunity here to develop um, uh, develop their new products, and uh, they can test it in harsh environments because uh, we uh, out in the middle of the North Atlantic. That's what we uh, that's what we live in. It can be a, a harsh environment here, um, and we also have uh, the educational institutions that have the capacity uh, to train uh, good, high quality local uh, uh, talent, and also to entice people to come here to. Uh, to have better experience in the ocean industry sector. One of the things that's very important for us in terms of um, the, uh, uh, the, the economy and economic development and attracting uh, new, new companies and new investment is the lifestyle of, um, of people who come here. You know, it's one thing to attract, uh, it's another to retain. And uh, when you're getting people here, uh, we have a, a great adventure um, side of this, we have a trail system that's uh, just uh, just hugely popular. Um, we have um, our, our arts and uh, entertainment here. Uh, the, uh, the the music scene is very uh, is is very, is great here, and those are the types of things you know. We we offer a safe uh, a safe environment, a stable environment. And uh, we, uh, we also want to be able to offer people the things that they want in a place where they can learn, live and, uh, and work and, and a place where they feel they belong. Mayor Breen, you mentioned challenges as well as opportunities. And often I think the opportunities may, may come from the challenges. Could you highlight those, those challenges and, and how they are being turned into uh, competitive advantages for St. John's? Well, one of the challenges, of course, is the uh, is is the geography and our location and uh, being far away from uh, from markets uh, historically. Uh, but now that's become an opportunity for us because we uh, we do have the ability to bring people here to work to learn in the ocean industry uh, sector and uh, and and also to be able to uh, learn at the uh, learn at the various educational institutions technology has uh, has allowed us uh, to uh, to be able to provide our services and provide companies here the opportunities to to market to the world so uh, what was a challenge for us for a long time has now become one of our uh, one of our great strengths uh, to be able to have a, a strong export based uh, market I think people that are working remotely, if they're looking for uh, for a lifestyle that we can offer here in St. John's and in Newfoundland and Labrador, uh, they can certainly do it. But, you know, with everything, we uh, we have to create opportunity for people to live here. And I think that's what we're doing now. What recent investments, particularly in the St. John's uh, ocean economy ecosystem, uh, would you highlight to other investors? Well, I think the significant investments uh, uh, in in terms of the ocean supercluster has been a major um, a contributor here. Uh, it's given companies here the ability to partner uh, with uh, companies throughout the world and uh, provide those companies with the uh, with the ability to access the services and the research and development tools that we have here in ocean industries and expand the markets for our companies uh, to uh, to go beyond uh, just uh, just Canada or or North America. And uh, if you look at the investments in the educational institutions, the uh, uh, the research facilities that we have here, uh, both in uh, in the ice uh, ice area and in the having the largest flume tank, um, we have the facilities here that uh, that are available now to companies to come here 
and do their research and development and set up shop. How would you describe the St. John's innovation and research and development ecosystem? Uh, you mentioned universities, and I assume they're playing a big part into that. Uh, what other players would you like to highlight? We've had significant successes. And when you look at the tech sector, um, you know, you look at the Verifin and its, uh, its acquisition by NASDAQ has been a big uh, boost and not only uh, not only a, a boost for that uh, for for that company obviously, uh, but a big boost in the in the whole startup sector here, where people uh, see successes and new people beginning new ventures see the success of of Verifin and other companies here, and uh, and are now uh, you know they're encouraged by that success. We also have uh, companies like uh, Kraken, uh, which uh, which. Has, uh, is now looking and expanding and is uh, looking at the acquisition of, of other companies in, in the area. And uh, Genoa Design, which is uh, one of the top ship, shipbuilding um, design companies around. So there's, uh, there, there's been a whole um, new um, group of companies who, who have come forward and are now beginning to make their mark on the, uh, on, on the industry worldwide. I'm sure you've traveled in different parts of Canada and the world, uh, and, 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 and of course you would have taken the opportunity to talk to people about St. John's, the region, and Canada. What are some misconceptions that you find yourself often having to, to sort of rectify? Well, I think people are surprised when you, when you explain to them that, you know, you can, you can leave St. John's and, uh, and whether you're going to Toronto, but, you know, they think it's a long distance from Toronto. It's about saying flight as you're going to take to get to London. Uh, so we are actually pr pretty centered <laughs> when you look at it in that, uh, in, in, in that realm. So that's, that's the first thing. I think that people get a bit, a uh, bit concerned about the geography, but when it's explained to them, it, it, it seems to, to make sense. And of course, geography is starting to mean less and less, um, in terms of, um, industry and, and the economy as you move forward. The ocean industries represent uh, a significant portion of the of the ocean industries in Canada, and uh, if you look at the uh, the historical uh, fishing um, um, fishing communities, which sometimes they see Newfoundland at, we still uh, we still have a very strong uh, seafood industry, uh, but we have uh, we have a strong offshore oil and gas industry too, and we have a, a strong tech sector. And, uh, you know, and there is such significant potential in it that that's really what people uh, people need to see and what we try to explain to people every day. What about um, the, the, the region's uh, locals and their perception of foreign direct investment? At times, of course, in the business community, most people would say, yeah, the more the better. But, but people can also have sort of negative, you know, perceptions of foreign direct investment. Would you say... Um, you know the people in St. John's and in the region are, are generally favorable, and yeah, what 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 would you tell them is the value of foreign direct investment? I think the people here see uh, foreign direct investment uh, and 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 the value that it brings. I think we've seen it in the oil industry um, over the uh, since its inception back in the I, I guess now is back in the seventies, uh, and we've seen what investment has done for us, and we've seen. Uh, what a what a change the oil industry has had uh, on our uh, on our life uh, on our lifestyle here in uh, in Newfoundland Labrador and the opportunities that it's given uh, people and now we see that that transition uh, those companies are now involved in the transition uh, as our as our economy uh, transitions and our industries do and we see them as uh, as being a major part of that and. They're here and uh, we're working with them as we transition uh, into the new economy. So if you had uh, sort of a, a mosaic of, 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 of tiles in front of you with, you know, let's say 100 foreign investors from every corner of the world, um, what would be your sort of 30 seconds pitch to them? What would be the main things you would highlight to try to convince them to take a closer look? I think they have to look at the, uh, at the, at the province itself, the people that are here. Uh, the, the caring nature of the people, how we, uh, how we all pull together and, and help each other. We have to look at the quality uh, of, the, um, of, of the facilities here, the education, the, uh, the quality of the talent that we're producing uh, here in, in this province. And, 
and the people who want to uh, want to come to our province because we're seen as world leaders in the ocean industries and uh, and the ocean sciences. Our ability to retain their employees here in a very competitive labor market. People are going to want to come to Newfoundland and they're going to want to stay once they live here.